It is pretty. I told you. <laughs> I don't know if it's magnetic or not, but yeah, it is. Is it? It's just a little wire brick necklace, honey. What about the chunks of stuff down there? No, but I'm telling you, it's not. Okay. I think this is stainless steel wire. I don't know, it could be silver wire. And this, I think, is uh, silver over brass or copper. Okay. Honestly. I just thought it was pretty with the stones and everything. It yet. is, honey. Right? A smaller bag? <clears throat> no. No. Okay. No. Okay, just in case you didn't get it, no. Okay, bag. I like a little bit bigger bag when you put these wires so they can kind of stay in their shape. And this is very pretty. You've got your lobster claw clasp. And they, a lot of people call this a snail chain. No, this looks more like cobra to me. Not sure. You've got these beautiful purple. They're heavy. Oh yeah, they're glass. Glass or amethyst, I don't know. Faceted stones. Just beautiful in color. Now, you know, these look like amethyst, but these don't. These look like a cognac color. So that's a very interesting mix on that. See this? And then that. Here you can see them together. The light passing through. Very pretty necklace. And like I said, these are glass. The chain has no wear on it. Like that. <clears throat> There's no maker's name on it. Let's see. And it, but it is magnetic. Still a gorgeous necklace. This is a bracelet. It's made of leather. Even the flowers are leather. The leaves are leather. This is very cute. I like this a lot. Isn't that precious? Butterfly and leather. Your uh, extender has a leather leaf on the bottom here. They're embossed. Or tooled, I don't know what you call it. Look at that. Very pretty. It's got a lobster claw clasp and an extender. That is the cutest bracelet. Never seen anything like that. Very pretty. <clears throat> study those pearls while I get this put up in a bag. What's your loop, honey? That's a good question. Right in front of me. We got quiet, honey. You've been concentrating over there. Mm-hmm. Getting all those tangles. Getting all those tangles out, yeah. Here's a pretty pearl necklace. Very smooth. I'm trying to see if I see where. I think I see where on the pearl up here at the neckline. See where it's rubbed off there. Pretty class though. Class is sterling. Wow. So 
we're going to keep that. Tough oh, fit. Was nine two five. This is a Figaro Sterling nine two five chain from Italy. From Italy, he's already looped it. Got him trained. Don't need me anymore. Oh yeah, do. Here's the Figaro. Very pretty. Nice chain. It's a nice men's chain too. You know, they like men like to wear the Figaro too. Figaro, Figaro. These are sparkly. Champagne and bronzy colors. Stretchy bracelet. Ooh. I know why you're quiet now. Yeah. <laughs> but I got it untangled. Yes, you did. All but the... Yeah. Well, yeah. But it doesn't allow the necklace to line up right. It's all wrapped up. Mmm. <clears throat> Picky, picky, picky. No, follow through, thorough, thorough, thorough. Follow through. You know how I feel about following through. Mm -hmm. Here we go. That's pretty. Nice beading on that. That feels, no, that's acrylic. Very nice acrylic, kind of cool, but not glass. Love the um, extender bead they put on this. They're pretty red. Here's a Charleston Library Society ornament. Yeah. That's where that bag came from. It's nice. It is. Glad to have it. Here's the back. It's in great shape. Very pretty. Oh, you're looking for beads, matching earrings. Matching earrings. Beads, matching earrings. Not yet, though. I'm going to put this up for a Christmas ornament. Since it's Charleston. Okay, next. I'm getting with it, honey. I know you're ready no, to open no, no, up no. another jar. No, because I'm going to be stopping cooking dinner for sure. Ooh. What are we having? Leftovers. Oh, good. <laughs> What's the leftovers? Spicy spaghetti oh, and shrimp. Oh, yes. And I went out and got more shrimp. So. Oh, yes. I love it. That's pretty. That's a minimalist necklace. Minimalist. There's some stuff up here. So they can kind of see why. At least you bag for me. No, I'm going to start cooking. Oh, yeah, you're going to start cooking. Okay. Well, I am on my own, folks. Glad to be that way. Hang on to your chairs, folks. This ought to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll be calling bracelets and necklaces. And where's my loop? And it'll be right in front of me. Yep. Here's some pretty bangles. You always want to check your bangles. On the inside to see if there's sign. That's an enamel one. And this is a green enamel one. Silver tone. And this one is got rhinestones. And they're not missing. That one looks a little dark, but it's not missing. And then you have these right here. And quick test is to and the magnet holds them all. 
and you know they're not silver. And this is the only one that's not picking up. I don't know. I'll have to check it out. Here's some pretty little old pearls, antiqued. They're knotted in between too. And they all look like they're still in good shape and they could be real, I don't know. No, they're not knotted in between. That needs to be checked out. I'm going to put them in the bead lot. We have another necklace here in silver tone. Lobster claw clasp extender. With chain and beads. Now, I can't tell. Those are blue stones in there. This necklace needs cleaning. It's in the Y design. You see those are much brighter down here. Give this a good look, look, looking at. Let's see what's going on. Why it's so... Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I think I see some vertigree. And so this has got to be clean. Next one is a copper copper wrapped quartz. I don't think it's a rose quartz. I could be wrong. It's on a silver tone chain. It's a lobster claw class and extender. How do you put this in the cleanest solution I have up there? Thank you. You have some wear on that. I'm going to put that in the crafter slot. Because I think somebody can do something with it. I've done it again. I got used to the bracelet lot being over here. Well, I don't want to tell you. It's okay, I fixed it. You don't have to tell me anything. This is a beautiful opalite glass heart. It's on the string, which is terrible. And I'm going to cut the string off. No, I'm not because I don't know where the scissors are. Cut it off. I, that's just too pretty to be on there. Ugh. Yeah. That is a beautiful little heart. I'm sure we've got something a lot prettier to put it on. Uh-huh. I know we do. I want to try something. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Now, I don't know about this. And y'all might think, ew. I'm going to look at cords too, but I just wanted to see if it would fit. I know it won't. Okay, so it's got to be a thin chain. And I'll look for it later, but that's very pretty. That's a pretty opalite. Here's a cross on a cord, wooden cross. Needs a little shining polishing. <clears throat> Here's a barrel clasp. It's sort of a lavender pink with these little beads here. Gold tone beads. They're not magnetic. That's very pretty. I'm going to test the beads on that. 
and University of Kentucky pen. Let's do this first. This is not magnetic. And I see a, it looks like it says best in there. Maybe not. Wow, am I seeing things? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm talking to myself. <laughs> well, I don't have you to talk to. I know. I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to everybody. Oh, okay. At once. Nice. That's kind of pretty. The gold tone in between the silver tone. We might test that one. This is pretty. I hope we find a match in the future. Did you already look for matches in this, honey? Yeah. Oh, that's Quickly, beautiful. I didn't really see any, but you know, they would have jumped out at me. Maybe. Yeah, that's beautiful. I think it's missing a stone here, and I'm not sure about what's going on up here. Pretty abalone, rhinestones, not abalone, aurora borealis, rhinestone. I had a green one of these. This is kind of a pearly silver color. It's a glass bead. A tie pin or sweater. Maybe a sweater. Yep, this is a sweater. One. Sweater clip. In good condition. A little Christmas ball. Festive. And I've seen this one before. This one. Yeah, I'll probably have to go through all the jars of... And I've seen this one before. Okay, yep. That. Because I always want to test it. I just need about a 20-foot long table to spring all the earrings out. No, we need a clean table where everything's off the table. Okay. And this table would do it. No, that white one over here will do it. Oh, the white one? Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll do that. Little bead. I'm not sure if that's, that feels like it's glass up top, but acrylic on the bottom. Let's see if I can get some of this stuff out of the way. So focus. Focus. Black's hard to see anyway. Got these, they're cold, very colorful. This one's pretty, lever back. Here's the back, no marks. Wow, what do we got here? It's got some birds painted on it. And I know if it's magnetic, Okay, I took a little break and kind of um, spread these out some. There's some beads. I'm going to put in that bead bin over there. Here's a little leaf. That's enamel. That's got little rhinestones in it. It's pretty. It's got pretty gold color. Like these. I like the blue with the wood there. These are gemstones. I don't know if that's uh, venturine or if that's um, adventurine and amethyst, I believe. Could be jade, I don't know. 
These are adorable and I wish we had the match. These are glass. And the chain and the earring are silver. And you have this little crystal up here. This is cute in the gunmetal color. That's pretty. Brass. Stamped. Pretty on this side as it is on that side. <clears throat> this has got your quartz and a glass stone. Pretty little simple earring. These are pretty. These are done on gunmetal, little shell and beads. Come on, lever back. A beaded piece. A <clears throat> little daisy. A cross and a flower. A little me 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 me. A little mermaid. It needs some love. I don't know if that's very smooth. If that's acrylic or bone. It needs to be cleaned up though. And I don't know if this little piece is silver or not. <clears throat> it's not magnetic. That's not magnetic. I might look at her a little bit deeper. Now I showed that already. This is pretty. And the star. Pretty. And then these. Now that, that's very dainty work on those. It's nice beading on that. Well done. And these are very cold. So I think these are little gemstones. And I showed that clip back. It's wooden, but it's red, like redwood. Okay, guys, that's it. Um, I want to thank you for joining us. And we will see you all in the next jewelry jar opening. We're going to eat supper here soon. And you all have a blessed night. And we'll see you in the next jewelry jar opening. If you like this content, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. We're trying to get to 600 subscribers so I can do a jewelry jar giveaway. And um, so share it with your friends or people who like this kind of um, video. And spread the word, and it's much appreciated. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Daryl. Bye.